Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Worship Together Across the Diocese. And today I feel like shouting God is good all the time. Amen. Now today I'm going to talk about a very special person. Here are a few clues that will get you thinking about who this person is. Number one clue, the Bible. But have you spotted it's just the New Testament? The person I'm going to talk about is just in the New Testament. So that gives you a little bit of a clue. Another item that I've got here is this net and it's empty. But this special person, he, so there's another clue, he used to catch fish in big nets because, and have you spotted this picture behind me? He was a fisherman. Now, this picture is a picture of France. And the person I'm going to talk about, well, he lived in Israel and went fishing on Lake Galilee. But he would have, just like these fishermen, have pulled his boat in off the water at the end of the day onto the shore to keep it safe. And one day while he was doing that, a certain person came along and spoke to him. Do you know what I'm going to say? That's right, Jesus. Jesus came along and met this person and his friends and said to them, come and follow me. And this man decided that he would. Because today I want to talk about Andrew. Saint Andrew, the patron saint of Scotland, because it was his special day on November the 30th, when the church remembers Saint Andrew, and particularly Scottish people remember Saint Andrew. And Saint Andrew, as you've guessed from all these things I've just been talking about, was one of Jesus' special friends. One of the fishermen that said, Yes, I'll follow you, Jesus. And he left his boats and he left his nets and he followed with his brother, Peter, Jesus. Now, we don't know very much more about Andrew. So I had to think very hard about what I was going to talk to you about. And suddenly I thought, well, how silly of me. Of course we know lots about Andrew because as you go through the rest of the stories in this Bible, my favourite Bible, as you know, and you think about the man being lowered through the roof and Jesus healing him, Andrew was there because it says... Jesus and his disciples were in this place. So Andrew was there. And then I thought, wow, so there's Jesus with his 12 disciples in his boat and the storm is being calmed. And one of these men would have been Andrew. Andrew was there. And my mind just kept going and going and thinking, oh, this is really exciting that when Jesus fed all those people with five loaves and two fish, over 5,000 people at that massive picnic, Andrew was there. So we do in fact know a lot about Andrew and he will have heard Jesus telling the story of the Good Samaritan. He would have heard Jesus telling the story of the lost son. He would have been there when Jesus made people 
be able to see again. He would have been there when Jesus died on the cross. Andrew would have been there. And he would have also been there, let me find this picture, when, here we go, when the Holy Spirit arrived. You remember the disciples were hiding in the upper room waiting for the Holy Spirit because Jesus had told them to do that and the Holy Spirit comes and fills them, fills them with love and joy and peace and confidence and they go out and they start telling everybody about Jesus and Andrew did just that. He was there right at the very beginning with Jesus. He learned everything from Jesus. He watched everything happen. He would have been there when Jesus appeared after the resurrection, when he said, do not be afraid. It's me. I'm here. I'm alive again. So that is St Andrew, an incredible person, the patron saint of Scotland. What does that mean? Well, I looked it up and the patron saint means that he is the heavenly guardian, the heavenly protector of Scotland. And there's many different legends as to how come St Andrew is the patron saint of Scotland because he never actually visited Scotland. Uh, there's all sorts of different legends and you might want to investigate that. And basically the king, hundreds of years ago, decided that he wanted Andrew to be that heavenly guardian of Scotland. And that's why St Andrew's Cross is on the flag of Scotland. And you can see that flag now on the screen and the cross is like an X. So it's not the shape of the cross that Jesus died on. It's not the shape of this cross that I wear to say that I'm a Christian. Because Andrew decided that he wasn't good enough to be crucified on a cross like Jesus. He wanted to be crucified on a different shape cross. Because sadly, Andrew and many of the other disciples, they were killed because they believed in Jesus. And others were crucified as well. And Andrew made this decision, but he'd lived an incredible life and he'd done some of the most courageous things for Jesus. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for Andrew. We thank you for his example, his faith, his courage. We thank you that he and the other disciples went out and told everybody about you so that we know about you today. Pray that we will have that same courage and that we, like Andrew, will try to be the best that we can be. In your name. Amen. Today, we're going to be praying for everybody who lives and goes to school in Worley Deanery. So here it is. There's a map of Worley Deanery. And if you are in Worley Deanery, this prayer is for you. Lord Jesus, we pray for your special blessing upon everybody in Worley Deanery today and every day. 
for all our friends in the schools and the churches and for everybody who is going about their daily lives today. We pray that they will feel your love, that they will see your light and your presence in all of those people around them. And we pray in your name. Amen. So I hope you've enjoyed hearing about St Andrew and have a go at finding out more about that legend that I mentioned, all those several different legends of how Andrew became the patron saint of Scotland, because they're really rather interesting. He's also the patron saint of many other countries and you could have a look at that as well. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.